what is a king in my mind? And these are just expressions. A king is a man who just outclasses other guys. Um, most other guys are just kind of trying to get through the day. They're trying to just amuse themselves with little random diversions to get the day done. A guy who's a king is on his purpose. He knows what he wants out of life. He knows what vibe he wants around him. He has a good sense of personal boundaries. He knows what he's doing here. It's a cut above. You're somebody who likes what he does for a living, and if you don't, you're taking steps towards getting to a point where you do. You're fun, you're happy, you smile, you know, you enjoy the little things. You can stop and smell the fucking roses. You're not all stressed. It's really about the ecosystem that you build around yourself. You gotta build it, and it's not gonna build itself. It's, these things do not build themselves. For me, life is about, again, like I said, building yourself up. And what it really comes down to in the end, you wanna know what it actually is? Honestly, contribution, isn't it? Part of this journey is when you see an opportunity, take fucking action. You align your full self towards the goal. You wanna be what's called promotion-oriented and think of what can go right, not prevention-oriented. Because people think that they wanna move up, but only part of them wants to move up. The other part of them wants to stay stagnant, so you gotta think about that. You tell the size of a man by the size of his problems. Got a small man, his problems are very self-directed, very self-focused. People that are in pain, they can't think about contribution. So you want to think of that as like coping versus thriving. Coping, thriving. You're in protection or you're in progression. You know? And so you'll see guys where like, you know, when they're, when they're thinking, their entire thought process is on themselves. Why is that though? It's because they're in protection. It's because they are coping. They're coping through life in pain. They're in scarcity. So you want to think of yourself as an entity that has direction, good emotions, good people around you. What does that mean? It's a few different things. One is you've got to know who you are. Like, who am I as a person? What am I doing here? Like, that'd be the number one question asking. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not to fuck with your brains, but you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing here? You know, it's like, dude, you're lacking that true north, right? So what is your true north? Dr. Cam Todd here with 10 awesome templates for overcoming objections. This is fourth in the series of cold call scripts and sales techniques and tips and tricks and overcoming objections. All right, set number four, 10 awesome templates for overcoming objections. So we've kind of broke these up into what we call standard outreach calls or personalized calls and di different categories of tips and tricks. The first is what I want to call the standard outreach call. A standard outreach call serves as an opportunity for you to connect with a prospect one-on-one -on -one and then begin to guide them toward the next step of the buying process. Prior to making this call, be sure to conduct research about the prospect and their business as the initial qualification measure. By taking the time to conduct research prior to the call, you're setting yourself up for a more contextual, warm conversation. You'll both have a lot more to talk about, basically, is what that has to do with. You can avoid wasting the prospect's time by looking into the following ahead of time. Identifying their job title, their current role expectations, exploring the company website, any social accounts, and cr using Crunchbase to identify your prospect's acquisition history, funding rounds, investors, team members, news, timeline, competitors, former employees, customers, partners, sub-organizations, board members, advisors, and other related details. So you basically going to research this customer in depth and in great detail before you even approach them. Okay, now based on that information that you've done, this is what the template's going to look like. Hi, and you're going to already know their name. This is Dr. Kemp from Fresh Start Freight. I've been doing some research on your company, and I'd love to learn more about and you're going to become the buyer at that point. So you're going to know their name. At Fresh Start Freight, we work with people like you. And we help with, and you're going to interject the situations that you think are going to work best for them. 
two, and three. Is this something you think? Is this something you think we could help with? Option one. Yes. Tell me more. Great. This is where you're going to ask them to attend a demo, a little slideshow, or a little one-on-one -on -one with uh, with me or with the team leader. Continue the conversation with an account executive. Whatever the next start part of the sales process is. Option two is an objection. If they make an objection, you say, "Oh, I understand." Is it okay if I send you some follow-up email to review when you get a minute? Then I can follow up with you tomorrow. If yes, send the email, set a reminder follow-up. If no, then thank them for the time and ask if there's another point of contact that they might be able to help you with. Okay, now this one's a gatekeeper. The gatekeeper is someone that screens and directs the calls for business. We've all talked to them. Anytime we do a live sales call, you're in a, uh, remember there's several gatekeepers. This person's job title may be something along the lines of administrative assistant or office manager. Gatekeepers are already busy with a million tasks, so they may direct your call immediately. It's also possible that they've been instructed to screen or deny sales calls. Always remi remain professional and polite. Don't be hesitant, and don't be hesitant to share more information about why you're calling. Sometimes gatekeepers can help you identify a better prospect to connect with. Here's one of the templates we use for gatekeepers. Hey, hello, I'm calling with, uh, for Linda. This is Dr. Cam with Fresh Start Freight. Option one, the gatekeeper transfers you directly. Option two, follow the standard outreach call script that we just had on the first section. Option two, gatekeeper asks what the call is regarding. You've heard that a thousand times. I'm following up on an email I sent to John regarding some shipments that he has to move in a few days. If the gatekeeper still doesn't transfer the call, ask to leave a voicemail instead. Number three, discovery sales call. Discovery calls are meant to learn more about your prospect and their company in order to better qualify them as a potential customer. The key to a great discovery call is asking the right questions. If you've done some research on your prospect, try to ask questions that are very specific. You'll also want to steer clear of a simple yes or no question because those answers are so brief. The goal is to get your prospect comfortable in talking so you can have detailed notes and ideally qualify them. Check out this blog post for a list of questions to answer the discovery calls, like this template right here. Hi John, this is Dr. Ken with Fresh Start Freight. I've been doing some research on your company and I just wanted you to know, I just had, I just had a few questions to ask about uh, Hewlett Packard. Are you experiencing any specific challenges with Hewlett Packard? And if so, what are they exactly? What have you been trying to work around these challenges? Are you the best point of contact to discuss this with, or do you think other team members might be involved? What roadblocks have kept you from finding a better solution to the problem and challenges? What would your ideal solution look like? You got a lot of information from some Option one, you get a lot of information from the prospect. Thanks so much for answering these questions. I'd love to continue the conversation because I think that Hewlett Packard would be uh, able, that I, I think that Fresh Start Freight would be able to help you figure out the solution. This is where you're gonna ask them to attend a demo or continue the conversation with an account executive or take whatever the next step is. Number two, there's an objection instead. I understand, is it okay if I send you a follow-up email to review at your convenience? Then I can follow up with you tomorrow. If yes, then send an email and a reminder follow up. If no, then thank them for your time and ask if there's another point in contact you can connect with. Hang up. What if they hang up on you? Follow up with an email. It may be a better way to get connected. You can always send that one minute video. That's a huge deal. Make sure to include your resources that clearly explain why your company does, what your company does, and ask to review again to continue the conversation. Here's the recommended by mutual colleague template. Recommendations are a great way to make a sales call feel a little warmer. Make sure to mention the connection in your introduction to establish rapport with the prospect. Also, always follow up with a thank you and maintain a connection with your recommenders because they may have more prospects for you in, for you in the future. Here's your template. Hi, John. I was recommended by George to connect with you. I've been learning about uh, Hewlett Packard, I'd like to know more about your product service value. Do you have a few minutes right now? Option one, yes, tell me more. 
follow that standard outreach screen, the first outreach script. Go to details. What if you get an objection? I understand. Is it okay if I send you a follow-up email to review at your at your convenience? Then I can follow up with you tomorrow. If yes, then send an email, send him a follow-up, uh, send him a reminder follow-up. If no, thank him for his time and ask if there's another point of contact that might help out. The odd hang up. If they hang up, follow up with an email. This may be a better way to connect anyway. Make sure to include resources. Explain a little bit about your company. That explain, clearly explains what your company does in order to continue the conversation. Asking for a connection. Sometimes it can be, seem impossible to get in touch with a prospect. You may be able to see that they're getting your emails or voicemails and they're checking out the content that you share with them, but for some reason, you just can't seem to get them on the phone to properly introduce yourself and have a conversation. Try reaching out to another team member in the organization and asking them to connect you. It never hurts to ask and you may end up getting valuable information about the company from somebody else. This is what that template looks like. Hey John, this is Dr. Cam from Fresh Start Freight. I've been trying to connect with Jill, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. You think you could introduce me via email? I'm trying to learn more about Hewlett Packard. Fresh Start Freight works for businesses like Hewlett Packard every day to help with saving money on, on transportation and LTL and uh, even some uh, full truckloads. Option one, yes, I'll connect you. Great, thanks John. I'm gonna send you an email with some information to share with Jill ahead of the intro. I'll be looking for that email, have a great day. Option one, no. Oh, I understand. Is it okay if I send you a follow-up email to review at your convenience? Then I can follow up with you tomorrow. If yes, send the email and, re and the reminder to follow up. If no, thank them for their time. And that's if there's another point of contact they can connect you with. Following up. Sales cadence is very, and sales calls may not be a sales rep first attempt to contact a prospect. If you've tried reaching them through email or connecting via social media, let them know that you're following up on a previous outreach. There's a good chance that the prospect may have noticed your previous outreach attempts already. Here's the template. Hey John, this is Dr. Kemp from Fresh Start Freight. Hey, did you get a chance to look at that email I sent? Option one, yes, I'd like to learn more. And then go back to your discovery sales script. Option two, yes, but I'm not interested. Okay, well thanks for letting me know that. Just out of curiosity, can you let me know why you aren't interested? Try to use their answer to overcome this objection. If they won't give you an answer, ask if it's okay to send another email with a little bit of different information to look it over. Okay, so don't give up. One of my favorites, the special promotion. Promotional offers give you a little more to advertise when you're reaching out for that first time. If your company has a free trial of a product or service, significant discount, let your prospect know. You've heard me say that, hey, we've got up to 70% discount on, on the LTL freight or, even, or we could possibly even get it moved for cost. Whatever it takes to get your foot in the door, right? You've heard me say that. People love to feel like they're getting a deal on purchases. A survey from Retail Me Not found out that four out of five, 80% or better, said they feel encouraged to make a first time purchase with a brand new, with an item that's branded or that's new if they found an offer or a discount. The right promo could be what turns your prospect into a customer. This template would look like this. Hey John, this is Dr. Cam from Fresh Start Freight. At Fresh Start Freight, we work with people like you all the time that have LTL freight ready to move. And we can probably move that at, at cost for the first couple of loads just to get the foot in the door and kind of see what your prices are. Currently we're offering a cost free uh, offer on the first couple of shipments. I'd love to help you take advantage of this limited time offer. This is where you're going to ask them to attend a demo or continue with the conversation with the account exec or whatever it takes for the next steps to get into the sales process. Of course, at option one, they're saying, yes, tell me more. So he's saying, yes, tell me more. Great. This is where you're going to ask him to attend a demo, continue the conversation with the account exec or whatever the next sales process is. Number two, they've got an objection. Oh, I understand. Is it okay if I send you a follow-up email to review at your convenience? Then I can follow up with you tomorrow. If yes, send an email and a reminder to follow up. If no, thank you. Thank them for their time. And once again, ask for another point of contact that they can contact and talk to, because you may get to the next guy. What if they hang up? Follow up with an email. Doesn't hurt a thing. This may be a better way to contact anyway and connect. 
maybe your little video or maybe your your paperwork will get through to them make sure to include resources that clearly explain what your company does and ask to continue the conversation previously spoke with another team member at the process company this is what you're going to do once you get another connection from the person that said no the first time you're not giving up sometimes a prospect that you have previously connected with may no longer be with the company in your pipeline that happens to me all the time by the way this is totally normal and gives you the opportunity to connect with another team member make it known that you've already spoken with someone else and there are many notes from your previous conversation and ask the new prospect to confirm if your notes are up to date or if there's any significant changes the goal in this scenario is to keep the conversation going here's what the templates looks like hey john this is Dr. Cam from Fresh Start Free. I've spoken with uh, Mac before, and I wanted to continue this conversation with you. And of course, then you go back to your standard outreach script, what's the first page in this series. If there's any notes, then you're going to use those. Uh, of course, you follow back on any news that you found out online. Establishing a one-on-one -on -one connection is next. On establishing the one-on-one -on -one connection, a great way to establish this connection is to do your homework and see what they're interested in. Everybody likes to talk about themselves. Check out what they're sharing and posting on their social media. See if they've been recognized for any big wins or maybe if they have a cute pet that they adore. Remember, prospects are human beings and finding a way to connect with them on your calls can make them feel comfortable speaking with you. Here's what the template might sound like. Hey, John, this is Dr. Cam from Fresh Start Frank. We recently connected on LinkedIn and follow each other on Twitter and again on Instagram. And I loved your post about John Paul, George, and Ringo, the Beatles, playing back in the day in Germany. This is exactly why I wanted to reach out to learn more about your, your company, Hewlett Packard. Then refer back to the standard outreach script for your details on what things you need to ask. Calling out a company win. If your prospect's company has recently announced a big win, like acquiring funding or launching a new product or service is a great opportunity to congratulate them. Big wins often mean big changes. You may catch your prospect at a perfect time and get them considering evaluating what you're selling, which is your service. Follow that company on platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, or Crunchbase to stay informed on major announcements. The template will sound something like this. Hey, John. This is Dr. Cam from Fresh Start Freight. I just heard the great news about Hewlett Packard. I know times like this are usually a great time to start evaluating new solutions, and I think Hewlett Packard will be a great fit with Fresh Start. We work with people like you every day on LTL and, and shipping process. Uh, I think we could actually start in and do some cost value shipments uh, and save you some tons of money. All right, and then refer back to your value down to script. All right, and finally, the bonus voicemail template. You won't always get your prospect on the phone like we all know, so it's important to leave a clear and succinct voicemail that will encourage them to call you back. This general voicemail template is a great way to get started. You can also check out more voicemail scripts later, and I'll show you uh, a couple of uh, places to look into good voicemail scripts. Test them out with your cadence and see which one gets most callbacks. Hi, this is Dr. Cam Fresh Start Freight. I'm calling because I'd love to learn more about Hewlett Packard to see if Fresh Start Freight can help for a solution with your shipping. You can reach me directly at, leave your phone number, and I'll also follow up with an email tomorrow. I look forward to hearing from you, hearing what you think. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye. And there you go. A super solid voicemail template. All right? All right. You guys get out there, hit the ground running, make it a great day. See you on the other side.